Hello, I would like to show you how to rational, how to rationally profile uh, code, in this case C++ code. And the first step of rational profiling is uh, getting the code to work and preparing. So um, in this example I'll be using uh, this GitHub repo. Uh, so he, uh, he, he volunteered to, to let me use his code. And I'll be showing all the intermediate steps as well. After a while, I'll cut some things, but first, uh, let's first fork it because uh, I'll need this work. And the first thing we'll be doing on that repo is add Travis. So, you'll see in the video, I will um, I will use Travis to do the profiling. I can do that locally, but people would. Um, I was requested to use Travis, so alright, definitely will be using Travis. Alright, so it's, this is my repo now. Let's activate it before even I have a Travis file. I do it just by selecting this word. Or just selecting that word will also work. I go to a repo. Let's take this one. Go to my new found repo. Probably not found yet by tra There it is. I activate it. And I already have an active repository of it. Right, first step, uh, where's the code? Well, uh, and first clone it. So I'll clone it. I like to copy paste that. Git clone. Oh, there we go. Do -do 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 -do. Let's see how it looks like. Code. That sounds like the place to go. Alright, there's code there. Um, I see there are three main functions main feed f mean and right and main let's take a sneak peek at what all those mains do main star dot cpp i'm not sure if that works with spaces i don't know who put spaces in this is one main let's see this looks very similar to me i'll be just using main Let's and then um, I'll be using. I see some. Uh, uh, there's also some R code there. So let's see if only the C++ code is in there. We have Gillespie and a uh, main. So I'll be using Gillespie and main dot cpp. I think. All right. Uh, let's make a Q make file for that. I, li I like using Q make. So I'm going to copy a Q make file from let's say City of Thieves. That has a project file. Nah, that is a, a Nature Zen. That also has a fine one. Joch Unos. This has a project file that's cool. That can be used. Eco evolutionary dynamics code. And I'm calling it. Uh, By me. Um, code for well, EED. I'm going to call it EED dot pro. And this is a cute a Q make file. You can see it there. I'm going to add it a bit because I only need Gillespie and main.cpp. Main.cpp and Gillespie.cpp. So these are the sources it needs. So you see it was 14. Uh, well I keep that. I'm going to keep that. Whatever it is, I'm gonna have, I will have a debug and release, ver release version, which is very important because in profiling, do that in release mode. So this is the release setting. It uses a gprof, so this is what we'll be using. You see, it's a bit. So this is if you're a, if you're a Linux and not a Mac user. Well, I can remove all this, but it doesn't matter too much for now. Here is SFML. We can definitely get rid of that. That will get in the way. Windows, I don't care about that either now. Qt, probably don't need it, but just keep it in. Resources, don't need to keep it in. This also won't hurt. So that means that I can't now run the code by using QMake. Make. Right, there are some errors there. And there are some sign comparison that makes it fail. So that may, means that I'll have to check those, but instead of fixing it now, I'm going to push it to Travis, what I have now. 
Alright, so um, these are the files I changed, and I don't want to put the make file on Travis, on, on Git I mean, uh, it can be ignored, no need to do version control on that, so either versions, debug and release, I don't care. Uh, but I do want to add uh, the project file, okay, commit add cute project file. Push. This is me. I use. Uh, there it is. And now I have done my first push. That's great uh, because we're getting there. But we also need to add a Travis file. I also copied that from Nature Zen because, well, I know that one well. And I'm going to do, I'm going to edit it and remove everything I don't need. So that's fine. SFML don't need that. X render don't need that. We have no graphics. Also don't need that. We don't have uh, sound. Clang tidy, nah, not needed for now. CPP check, yes, keep that in. Code golf, it's profiling, so we don't need that one. OC land, um, nah, don't need it for profiling. So out. Fail grind. Also don't need it. Just keep it in. I'm not sure if Gprof needs it. We don't need these services in the script. I'm going to ruthlessly kill it. We have to go CD source or CD code. That's it. CD code. Qmake. Make. And then run it. EEP. I think it was called EEP. Don't go OCLint. We do. This is Gprof usage. We're already going to add that one profile. Actually, we're going to do that immediately. Right, we already had that one. It's there. Q make. Q make. Then we're going to make release. Yes, that's a good idea release uh, because profiling should be done in release mode and then it's going to, to run We're going to time the run that's a useful thing to do so here's the normal line so we're going to time the run and that should be enough for that line Jeep, ah, here we're going to Put the output in a file when we call gprof. And here we're going to show it on the screen. Brilliant, brilliant. That's all we need for now. So you see, I did that I'm mostly cutting stuff away. Yeah, I should be more ruthless in that. I'm just going to remove all this. Everything that doesn't have to do with profile, I'm going to remove. Be checked bye bye, Felgrin bye bye, we'll see what happens. And I think it doesn't use boost, so we'll remove that for now. C plus 14. Well well, just remove it for now as well. Let's see, perhaps he doesn't use C plus 14 at all. I do use cute, so that should be in. And now we have our a tidy Travis file. Oh, oops, this should be EED. And we need to call it with some arguments. Well, I don't care about arguments now. Uh, just let's see what happens. All right, I can remove the only statement that I'm using Qt5. I think I must specify that here as well. And now I have good faith in this, and uh, let's go and push it. Git add. Git commit add Travis file. Git push. And let's see what happens on Travis. Now click on build history. It doesn't show up directly, but if you click on build history, you'll see it's there. So this will be a waiting step. So I'll be cutting the video here, and I'll be right back. Alright, cheers.